waiting on this to charge real quick so I can go out here and film also waiting on my iPod to finish charging because I need it for the music you guys are about to get firsthand on what it's like to film this video I'm gonna take you on a little adventure with me especially since I get a lot of questions on what it's like to put together a drum cover or a project or whatever the case is you guys are about to see a little bit of what I do to make it happen I don't necessarily write out the sheet music so I could share it with everybody I just share the final product with everyone I actually write it for my own benefit I know it sounds very uh I know it sounds very selfish but that's just what it is I write the sheet music so I don't have to try to memorize every little thing that I do I just write it out piece by piece um, I don't write all of this in one day this took me about a month almost since the song was released it's a lot of work that I put in on this drum cover so I hope it doesn't flop I'll be quite sad if it, if it flops especially on this last part I had to go through rigorous chop building training on my own to make sure I could get this down and clean and up to speed Eminem's rap was at one point faster than what I could even produce on the drumsticks but as you guys already probably saw I was able to accomplish doing a drum cover so uh, yeah it took a bit of training but I got it I also get a lot of questions on what kind of snare drum I use uh, this is actually not the front <laughs> front I use the pro championship this is the head company that I use Remo I am going to switch back to the suede hold on let me get this this is where I keep all my sticks and stuff uh, my drum pads all the pairs of sticks I use I don't use Evans somebody wants it uh, maybe I'll do a, a giveaway ah man what am I doing all right so uh, this is the same suede max head I've been using in my past videos before I switched to the Black Max. I switched to the Black Max because I wanted to see how it sounded on the snare drum. And now I want to go back to the Suede Max because that's how that's what I feel like doing. See, so yeah, you guys should already know I rep Vader all day, every day. Yeah, here's my here's my stick bag. Boom, boom, bang, bing, bing, boom. All I got is. SDJ Malik sticks. <laughs> oh yeah, I got my drum set sticks. You know, I practice here and there. My power five A's nylon tip. I know some people like to use the wooden tip. Me, as far as the drum set goes, I don't really have a preference. I just want sticks I can hit a drum with. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh oh. Hey, did I lose my drum key? Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh. All right, here we go. I got my drum key right there. Boom. Man, you know the funny thing about posting videos on the internet? Somebody's always going to get booty tickled over what you post. I posted a video on how to tune my snare drum because because you guys always ask me, how do you get the snare drum to sound the way that it sounds in my videos? And I explained exactly what I do to get it sounding. All of a sudden, people are asking me, what key do you tune it to? How come you're not tuning the snare cuts? Uh, the snare, the snares, the actual snares here. You know this, how come I don't, how come I don't tune the actual, you know? First of all, first of all, you shouldn't have to mess with the snares at all. You should just leave it as it is. The only thing you're really gonna mess with is this right here. It really, it's all about how wet you can get your snare drum to sound when you hit it all right if it sounds wet it sounds good to me at least I don't care about what key the snare drum is gonna be tuned to unless I'm tuning like five or six snare drums to sound the same that's a different story even then it's gonna be different because it depends on the snare drum sticks they're gonna carry a different tone because of the weight or depending on the water content of your snare drum sticks it's going to change the sound of your snare drum. Maybe not by much. Sometimes maybe by a lot. It just depends on the snare drum sticks you're using. But yeah, man, sometimes you just got to ignore people that be getting booty tickled on the internet. People get mad about everything. Every little thing that you post on the internet. But it's all good. I'm about to time lapse this.
got it all cranked up a little bit. Probably will tune it a little tighter whenever I go outside. Oh man, my hair looks crazy. So it's a bit chilly outside. I'm wearing uh, one of these little life vest uh, down coat thingies. I'm wearing this. All right, this is the key to surviving cold weather doing drum covers and I'm wearing a t-shirt under it. So layers, if you want to count this one, three layers of shirting. That's how you survive the cold weather. Ah, man, my hair looking crazy. I'm gonna have to rebraid it. I got all my gear. I got the two tripods I'm gonna be using for this video. Um, no cameraman, it's just me. Got my drum stand. All within the backpack, I'm gonna be carrying this snare drum. I got my little makeshift strap here to carry it around. I almost forgot to put my camera bag into the backpack. So I put this inside of it as well. And uh, I will see you guys at the location. So yeah, I'm dressed up like an Eskimo. I'm trying to keep the body warm so I can do this drum cover. This is where my, that's where my camera is. One of my cameras, there's the snare, there's the sun. There's a nice little structure over there I wanna get in the, for the background, all my gear and stuff. I'm gonna clean that up. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this camera now before I, I run out of daylight. Luckily, it's February, it's mid-February, so the sun goes down a lot later now. But it's still cold out here. It's, it's cold out here. It's like uh, 38 degrees, I think, right now. We did have snow flurries earlier. Um, it's still snowing over there, but it's kind of sunny now, but yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm talking too much. Got it stood up, stood it up. As the great Thanos would say, perfectly balanced as all things man if you don't there we go perfectly balanced as all things should be yeah i'm gonna zoom it out just a little bit all right yo yeah. So as you can see, not everything goes as planned, especially if uh, the weather's a factor. I can't catch a stick if my life depended on it. My hands are frozen. It's getting pretty dark, uh, running out of sunlight. So you guys see now what it takes to film one of these snare drum covers. Sometimes they don't go as planned, but I will get it done. I'm probably gonna film it tomorrow. I'm not gonna vlog it though this time. But I just wanted to demonstrate what it's like to try to film one of these. And it was just mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. So, yeah, it's pretty cold out here. I'm going to put a jacket on. Uh, like this video. Um, it's not half my videos be flopping anymore. No more flops. No more flops. All right. Like it, share it, um, and like it. I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe. If Only subscribe if you really like my content. Otherwise... Yeah, um, have a nice day.